Hi everyone, it's Emma here from Bromley Brighter Beginnings. I hope you're all well and managing with this second lockdown that we find ourselves in. I wanted to update you about the End Child Food Poverty campaign and yes, you guessed it, I also want to ask you for some help. Um, the End Child Food Poverty campaign, as you all recall, happened over the October half-term holiday and thanks to our lovely supporters, we raised enough money to be able to provide children who we knew were registered for free school meals with a supermarket voucher to help get them through the half term holidays. Since then, the government has announced that it is going to be providing £170 million as a COVID winter support grant to help families living in hardship um, during this winter because of the pandemic. Bromley Council has also now advised us that as of the last uh, spring census, 5,896 children are now registered for free school meals in the London Borough of Bromley. That's really a lot of children and it's an increase of over 30% on the figures from last year. We haven't yet seen the results of the autumn census, but we are worried about it because we are expecting that given what's happened since March, it's likely that that figure is going to be significantly higher. So with that in mind, um, we've decided that as an organisation, we will send in some questions to Bromley Council and ask them to really focus on this issue of child food poverty. There's a council meeting on the 7th of December and residents are entitled to submit two questions in advance of that meeting. So the questions that I've submitted on behalf of Bromley Brighter Beginnings are I've asked the council to confirm how much money is being allocated to the London Borough of Bromley from that winter grant and how it will be divided between the different departments. And I have also asked them to confirm that at least some of that funding will be used to provide a voucher to those children who are eligible for free school meals during term time to provide them with their meals during the Christmas holiday, that two week holiday that we've got coming up in just over a month. So those are the two questions that I've submitted. It would be really, really great if you could also send in those questions as well or questions of your own. But to save you some time below this video, I'm going to post some details. I'm going to post the two questions that we've already asked and the email address that those need to be sent to. They do need to be sent in by um, the 23rd of November, 5 p.m. at the very latest. So it would be great to, to get them in as soon as possible, really, to make sure that they are received before the deadline. Um, I'm also sending you links to so that you can find your local ward councillor and your local MP if you don't already know who that is, because you can also send the, the questions to them just to make sure that, that people know that this is, is an issue that is important to people and we want to be getting that message out there. So I'm posting the details below. This is the first time that Bromley Brighter Beginnings has asked its supporters to do something like this. We, we do ask you for things all the time, of course, and you never let us down. But this is a slightly different direction for us. Um, we are not a political organisation by any means. Um, we are not affiliated with any political party and we don't intend to be. But as I've said in previous videos, unfortunately, poverty is a political issue because it is the decisions that are made by politicians that then have a direct impact on whether children receive the support they need or not. So it, unavoidably, it is a, a political issue. And the way that these council meetings work is that if a significant number of questions are received in advance of the meeting, on a particular topic, then the council will publish a written statement in response. So that's what we need your help with. We really want to make sure that we get that written statement in response. If you could take a minute to send in those questions, that would be really great. Thank you very much for your time and for your help as always. Um, bye for now.